NSFW, what is your sex ed horror story? Split us up into boys and girls with the girls going off into another room for instruction. Then two teachers screamed at us for what must have been 20 minutes that if anyone laughed or made a joke we would be suspended. Nice intro, thanks. It was the same for me. How can you expect kids that age not to laugh? Sometimes it's because of something funny and other times it can be from nerves. For me, some of the topics made me uncomfortable and I laughed to ease uncomfortable situations. I remember thinking about death or dead people to try to stop myself from laughing. Let the kids laugh. Not horrible, but we were supposed to play a health jeopardy game but the teacher accidentally chose a beef. Positions 1. LOL. Reminds me of when a teacher turned on the radio and accidentally tuned into a station that was playing a song and we all heard the lyrics, I'm ready to smoke some crack we were hysterical after, that lol. Teacher turned bright red and fumbled with the computer to shut it off. A teacher asked the class, who can name a part of the male reproductive anatomy? And this one kind answered with full confidence. A asterisk 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 asterisk. There was a kid in class who raised his hand and asked, what's it called when girls spray out that liquid during asterisk asterisk asterisk. The teacher responded, girls don't do that. He said, trust me it's real, I've seen it a bunch of times in videos, she never responded. That was 6th grade. Oh my god. LMAO out of all the comments in the thread this one made me bust out laughing. In 6th grade, I had honest to god never heard the word beep 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 asterisk before in my life. The teacher was explaining stuff or maybe it was a video about safe beep or abstinence, but the word came up and nothing explained what it meant. I asked what is masturbation? And an awkward silence fell over everything, maybe because the teacher thought I was joking or trying to be funny. He slowly realized I was serious and then struggled so hard to explain it appropriately. It's when, you know, you do things to feel good with yourself, you touch things or, and I felt terrible for asking. To this day, I don't know who's more embarrassed me, the teacher, or everyone else. One kid in my class asked if you could get STDs from having beef with a chicken. Kind of put him on the spot and was a little suspicious. Someone linked that country boys make do picture please. We watched a video that tried to be hip and cool about beep bed in puberty. Direct quote during puberty, a woman's hips and beep beep asterisk row. Insert poorly done animation of a girl's hips and beep beep asterisk enlarging to ridiculous sizes. No, not that big. Early training for hentai. Pixar mom asterisk. We did a thing in ninth grade where anyone could write down a question anonymously. One was about average beep size. This was in the early 90s, so that wasn't something we could just Google. The beep ed teacher, who was highly trained at coaching football but probably not a beep ed, told us between 7 and 9 inches. Probably every guy nervously glanced around the room and tried to put in their, sure, that sounds about right face. I was convinced for about a year that I had a micro penis. Not really a horror story in high school beep ed our teacher had a big section on condoms which culminated with the class betting on how stretchy they were to prove that no one should accept the I'm too big for them excuse. Well one air pump and one condom later we had our answer at about the size of a long watermelon. As our teacher was going to try to pop it our principal was doing his rounds and opened the door, saw our teacher smacking the beep asterisk out of an inflated condom and just backed away slowly. I found it hilarious. Principal, hey I need the teacher, asterisk violently smacking inflated condom asterisk. Teacher, steadily meets principal's gaze without pausing the smacking. Well, I didn't think it was a horror story, but it stunned a few people. When I was 5 and my sister was 6 we had a fish tank. One of the fish we had was a pregnant molly we liked quite a bit. Unfortunately, she died before giving birth. So my sister, curious creature she is, asked our aunt if we could cut open the fish and save the babies. This would eventually lead first to my aunt dissecting the fish for us then to her explaining reproduction and ended with a rudimentary version of a talk. My aunt would take every chance she got to have a very graphic factual discussion about beep and reproduction so we would always be armed with knowledge and never have anything unknown. But it was in hindsight a bizarre way to get educated on the birds and the bees. Edit, so to answer the burning question, no the fish babies didn't survive. I have a very vivid memory of the little baby spilling out on the paper towel. 
Not a bad memory because it didn't freak me out, just kind of made me more curious about the world I guess. So glad there are how many nurses out there similarly educating kids. Edit 2. Mollies give live birth, not all fish lay eggs. People that keep fish tanks can confirm all you gotta do is blink in a tank with live bearing fish, and you've got pregnant ones. That's a very nurse thing to do. 9th grade be bet, teacher got a wooden beep asterisk asterisk to show how to put on a condom and the condom ripped in front of everyone. An hour teacher said, in my 27 years of living, I have never seen a condom rip, and someone in the back of class said, beep asterisk, teacher be getting hella beep beep asterisk, and he did laugh nervously. Why do you think he was teaching beep ed? Dude needed to be qualified. This is literally how it's decided in some places. The British Army has to put on mandatory annual training which includes sexual health. The usual method of choosing which NCO will teach the class is to work out which one has had the most STIs in the last year and make him give the lesson because he clearly needs a refresher. We played STD. Played STD in a cup everyone gets a cup of water. One cup of water has a bunch of dissolved starch in it. We went around swapping fluids to represent asterisk 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 and were supposed to see if we could safely avoid STDs without protection. At the end, we find out who had the STD by dropping iodine into each cup, turning the starch blue. If it turned blue, you tested positive. Everyone in the class ended up with the STD, even me, because even though I only had one partner, and they had only had one before me, the one before them was a slut and had everybody's fluids. Honestly, a very good exercise and warning. Except for that one kid. At the end, he dumped his test results and refilled his cup of the bubbler in order to claim he didn't have the STD, and he was good for more fluid swapping. Honestly, another good lesson on beef who will lie about being clean? Use protection, kids. That's actually a good way to teach that haha. My friend's mom bought a sexual reproductive pop-up book. It covered both male and female. So you would open it up in the uterus and fallopian tubes would pop up at your face. You can only imagine the fun we had with that. Is that an open beef at pop-up book in your pants or are you happy to see me? Probably 9 or 10 years old. Mid-1980s. Beef ed was taught at an after-school event that lasted about a week. My mom and I and my best friend and her mom went. There were two rooms, girls and their moms in one room and boys and their dads in the next room over. We learned basic stuff mostly about anatomy. Slides were shown probably dating from the 1950s. Awkward. Then at one point, the male teacher came over and asked for a few of the moms to come next door to help with something. My imagination went wild, especially since my mom went with a man. I thought for sure that she and the other mom who went were being forced to show a live demo of what their beep asterisk asterisk look like or worse, even though I didn't know what worse was yet. They were in there for what seemed forever. What were they doing to our moms? How is my mom going to explain this to my dad when we get home? Why is nobody alarmed? Because they were moving desks. I was filling in for the 9th grade life skills teacher while she was at an appointment and she left a chart for the kids to fill in with different birth control methods, their percent, effectiveness, any side effects. I'm at the front of the room leading the discussion with the info they need to fill in their charts. The last method on the chart was abstinence. I said, there are no side effects. One of the freshman boys raised his hand and said, I know a side effect of abstinence, carpal tunnel. I couldn't even pretend that it was inappropriate. I laughed as hard as the kids did. Student in 5th grade asked at what age males grow a asterisk 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 asterisk. About 9 or 10 weeks into embryonic development usually. My health teacher in high school told us condoms are strong, they're very stretchy. Don't believe any guy who goes, I'm too big, it won't fit all this, or, it's just gonna break anyways, why bother putting one on? She then produced three condoms available for pickup in the health office, proceeded to pull one over her hand and up past her elbow on her arm like it was a fancy costume, glove, spread her fingers out as wide as they can go, stretched two remaining of said condoms over her cowboy boots, and walked around non-stop for over six hours before one of them broke. Not necessarily a horror story, but that beep will haunt my dreams forever LMAO. Edit, holy beep this blew up, thank you for the awards and all your hilarious responses. 
double edit. I know that condoms can be too tight for comfort and can restrict blood flow, which is why they come in different sizes. Quit trying to flex on your beef size lol. Yeah I saw a video by the slow mo guys on YouTube about opening one in a wind tunnel. It was surreal to watch. Being singled out by the teacher because I had a unique name for a scenario along with a boy who I didn't like. We had to stand in front of the class while she described random scenarios where we might end up having unprotected beep and why it was bad. I was not attracted to this boy and I'm sure he wasn't attracted to me either. Hearing her talking about us having beef was nightmarish. That's ridiculously inappropriate. You can say, person when person be, not, hey, you kids. Let's talk about how y'all would bang. In law school we were taking a property law the other day, and there was this one section about how the owner of a pregnant animal will automatically be the owner of its offspring. One guy was instructed to come up with a situation about sheep breeding, and had to use the names of his classmates. The professor intended for the names to belong to the metaphorical asterisk farmers asterisk but the guy mistakenly ended up using them for the asterisk asterisk sheep asterisk asterisk and was on the verge of basically describing two girls in class breeding with each other. Sixth grade beeped. At the end of the class the teacher opened the floor for questions. She said we could ask anything as long as it was a serious question. The only question I remember is when a kid asked, it's okay to have beep with your sister, right? The teacher stared at him for what felt like a minute and said, no. Haha ha, I asked what oral beep was and my teacher said, do you know what beep is? You know what oral means. Figure it out. I did not figure it out. I thought oral only meant oral presentation as in speaking and figured it was beep where you talk a lot. That's oral asterisk asterisk asterisk. My beep ed teacher brought a kid up to the front of the classroom wearing a shirt that had two long sleeves and explained what an uncircumcised beep asterisk asterisk looked like. To be fair that would have helped immensely when I was in middle, high school. This isn't too much of a horror story but more of a moment that made me queasy. First, when discussing testicular cancer, they showed us a video of this-